Hello everyone! We are live once again and um, happy Saturday to everyone and uh, good evening from Singapore and good afternoon and good morning to wherever you are watching us from. My name is Sheena and welcome to episode number 15 of Digital Journey with Sheena. And for those of you that are new to our page, I am the face of this um, Facebook page together with my husband Joseph. Um, just to give you a quick background about ourselves, we are um, originally from the Philippines and we are uh, working and living here in Singapore for 13 years. So we are a couple and we are um, we are um, parents to two girls. And um, over a year ago, we have started uh, running this um, online business. And um, we have experienced, you know, so many blessings and uh, life transformation. Um, so we have decided to come up with this live interview series to bring in some guests and um, let, get them to share their own journey and experience because, um, you know, um, let the lives, their lives has also been transformed and we want them to share it with you and how this business has changed their life. So um, today I have a very special inter uh, guest all the way from uh, London, United Kingdom. Let's all welcome Suraj. Hi, Suraj. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good morning and good evening and good afternoon all over the world. Whatever your time. Yeah. Now it's uh, 6 p.m. Yes. And there is like 10. 10. <laughs> yeah. yeah I yes. Yes, Suraj. So, Suraj, uh, can you help us introduce yourself and, you know, share a little bit about your background? Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Suraj. I'm from uh, London. Uh, uh, originally, I'm from Nepal. Uh, now I'm residing in the UK as a permanent resident. Uh, my background was teaching back home, but here, mm -hmm. after a long struggles of uh, settling down, finally I settled with a, a healthcare professional. Uh, is a healthcare profession is my profession to work. Uh, I'm still with uh, the profession as long mm -hmm. as uh, everything is fine. And moreover, <laughs> uh, well, I'm with NHS, uh, National Health Services Trust of England. Uh -huh. I'm working on this business with my wife and my two children. My I have two sons with them. Mm -hmm. They all are cooperating me to establish my business. I'm happy. Uh, they are studying, and today is Saturday, is day off, and uh, they are just busy and they are still uh, doing their doing stuff. stuff. Yeah. That's about me. Yeah, and uh, uh, recently I started digital business, and uh, this digital business it has totally transformed my life. Uh, my life has totally changed. In the last six months, I have never expected the things that happened with me that I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah, that's, that's about great. me. Yeah. yeah, that's great. That's great. I mean, that's, we are happy to, um, to learn uh, something from you. Um, so for our very first question, um, can I check with you, uh, Suraj, how did you found this business? Because, you know, as a healthcare professional, uh, you are working full time, right? So um, how did you find this business? And you know what made you decide to that this is the the business that that is uh fit for you suraj you there can you hear me yeah sorry yeah yes no worries is it uh, you want to yeah you want me to uh oh. yeah uh ask the uh, question well uh you know how I came in this business and why I choose this profession, uh, this business system. Uh, there's there's a big uh, background. Can I explain in that <laughs> you, way? Sure, sure, sure. Of course, yeah. we have. Actually, to... look, I have my dream. I have so many priorities of my life which I wanted mm -hmm. to complete, which I wanted to accomplish in my life. Uh, and those things in last couple of years from last since I came here in UK with a, with a vision that we will have a bright career and uh, things for everything mm -hmm. will be all right. But when you come to new uh, country, new city, that metropolitan like 
uh, the accommodations and everything. Nobody is there of your own. Everything you have to establish from your own side. So it was uh, quite, uh, uh, I was not happy in the sense that because there was a great struggles going through. You know, there was, uh, the accommodation cost was so high that I had to work long, long hours because my, my wife was a student and she was only allowed to work 20 hours a week. And uh, I had two kids as well. And uh, so many expenses were there. So yeah. only uh, one job was not enough. So I had to work two, three jobs. Like sometime, uh, like three jobs. Even I used to work five, six days, 12 hours, 18 hours a week. Oh, and wow. uh, sometimes there was no day off. And I was working every time I was busy. I had no time for my family. I had no time for my children. I had no time for myself. Even one day, sometimes one day was off and there were so many responsibilities to complete. Like there are so <laughs> many works they were pending over there, which I had to do. And it was not helping. And, you know, uh, in the meantime, uh, it was in, uh, in the year 2012 when I was... Uh, in the profession, not in healthcare, but I was working in uh, in the hospitality industry, mm-hmm. in a hotel in a reputed hotel in uh, London. Here, I worked in that hotel as a uh, housekeeping supervisor. <clears throat> you know, in a shift, I had to check nearly ninety to hundred rooms. There were wow. housekeepers; they used to clean the rooms. They used to make the rooms ready. And I had to report those rooms are ready to the reception desk so that the visitors can go to their rooms. And the visitors' pressure was high. You know, yeah. every single day. And what was the thing that we were not allowed to use lift because oh all the, there was the uh, pressure of guests and the lifts were always busy with guests. So we were not allowed. And you won't believe this that that hotel has 500 uh, 498 something rooms yeah and it was five story building and you know in my set we were five six supervisors sometime the room was ready in the ground floor sometime it was ready on the fifth floor and we had to use only the stairs not allowed the uh, lifts so in the set i used to run sometime fifth floor running down to the second floor, first floor, ground floor, and walking like six months I walked like that. And one day, you won't believe, when I was coming back home in the railway station in Ealing, I live in Hayes. When I got off from the train, my legs gave off. I oh. fell on the, on the railway station. People, they uh, caught me and they put me on you. the bed. And yeah, I called my wife. She picked me home, yeah. And you won't believe, I went to the doctors and uh, a and and everything. They checked my knee, kneecap was totally cracked, you know, okay. because of too much walking. And mm-hmm. I was not in position to walk or move. Even to use bathroom, I had needed uh, my son, my wife, or two persons support. Then only I, I was there. And you don't know how bad time I went through I was feeling all the time crying. I was feeling like I will not be able to stand back again. I will not be able to walk again on my feet. And uh, you don't know, I had no job. It was my private job. It was not even uh, the permanent job that that will pay the sick pay. It was yeah. a private job that they were no, not giving. No benefits. No, no benefits. benefits. Yeah. So my wife was a student and 20, 20 hours she was allowed to work. And how she was earning at that time, I will never forget those six months of my life. Why I I was I came into this business system. That's why I was saying this one. 620 pounds she used to bring home. And we were four living in a room, big yeah. room. And that rent was 450 pounds. Now imagine 620 she was earning, 450 was the rent only. And left 100 something rupees. A pound with that we had to budget our household everything. Yeah, everything we had some saving and it finished very quickly every time i was feeling from inside and you uh, i'll say sina i'm the oldest son of the family back home also my parents are living on me my young uh, brothers and all sisters they were dependent on me 
what I used to send with that, they used to run their uh, household experiences. I was feeling like crying all the time that, oh God, what's the time it has come? I was looking for something which I can work because I was unable to share, help my wife. Yeah. She was, and if she leaves any job or any university and goes to there, they will cancel the visa. It was that that condition at that time. Mm. So I was thinking, I was all the time praying, God, if there is any option, I was looking through internet and everywhere, everything. I was trying my level best to find out anything if I can do from home, though I can't walk, though I can't move, at least I can find something to do. And mm. I tell you, I found some, some, uh, uh, schemes were there. Some people approached me also, so that you are unable to work. Why don't you try this one? Why don't you try this one? You understand? So people yeah. started bringing different uh, this uh, scams, you know, the schemes. I don't know it is good or bad. I think it is good that I involved in some so that I got some experience. At, you know. <laughs> I involved in some and they were all cheating people. They are just... Uh, attractive cheating uh, uh, scams. They were just luring people's money. They're looking from outside very bright, but when you go inside, it was, oh my God, I can't explain you. I didn't get my money back or anything and it was just lost. After six months, I became all right. I was looking, I, had, I was asking myself, I, you have to get well at any cost because you are the oldest son in the family if you can't do what will happen to your children, what will happen to your family. You have to, you can't give up. I was in that you don't, I can't explain you by words. I was yeah. going through YouTubes and everything. I was just learning if there is any exercise or any physiotherapist, if that can help. Even here, physiotherapists, they were helping, but it was not helping me at all. I was not uh, getting well very soon. Mm. I went through those research and then I made myself all right. In six months time, I became all right. And then I started in healthcare industries. And mm -hmm. since then, okay. And still I was, I had a scare. I had a, a big uh, mindset, which in the back of my mind, it was all the time. If anything will happen, so just imagine one night I woke up. See, now I'm sharing with you only. One yeah. night I woke up and I saw my family. I feel like to cry. I saw my family, my wife was sleeping sound, my children were sleeping sound, and I was asking myself, I was thinking that they are sleeping sound because they know dad is there. Yeah. If it will happen to me, can't they sleep sound forever? I started realizing, no, I have to find something which actively, as long as my hands and legs work, I can work. The day I'm not able to work, still it can produce the revenue. I was looking yeah. for that kind of thing, you know. I involved in those things, but nothing was there which was giving any returns or uh, thing. Then one night, you know, all the time in the back of your mind, it was look, it was searching something if that option will come, you know. And you know, law of attraction. What do you think? that comes to you, comes to you. the power of, <laughs> of attraction. I really, I believe in these things, yeah? So one day in the evening in my work, I was just looking through Facebook, I saw the ad. There were plenty of ads were there, but I was still feeling uh, it may be just, uh, just like that. They are not true, mm -hmm. they're fake. They're, they are yeah. just trying to trap the, they are scam, trapping the money, people's trap. <laughs> I assure you, I was feeling like that. So one day I saw one lady's uh, ad also, and uh, she was from my country as well. So I think that related me, related me, and uh, just uh, I went through the ad. When I read the ad, I felt like, oh, this her story is somewhere. It was resembling my story. I feel like that uh, it is my story. She said, yeah. but still I was not believing that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know whether it is right or wrong. I went through her profile. I checked her Facebook profile, everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And there was a message was coming, email was coming. And I went through webinar. You won't believe me. <laughs> the one webinar, I didn't believe. And I didn't <laughs> maybe scam. They are just fooling people. They're just, it is like that. I went through three webinar replays and three webinar I went through. And you know what I felt there? 
all those webinars, different people from different background, I saw the real people are there. They are experiencing their real feeling, real achievements they are sharing over there. When I saw that, I felt, oh, what I was thinking, I was wrong. Mm. These are real thing. It is happening. When I realized, I tell you, Sina, see, I'm getting goosebumps. I was feeling like, oh, <laughs> I have already lost so much of time. I'm missing my time. You know, I went to my wife. I told, look, from last 10 years, what I was looking for that I got now, I have to start it. I didn't have money to start at that time. So I managed for nominal fever that I just started. And that way I came in business. Mm. I tell you what, the main reason was, still I'm telling you, I have some dream. Like I yeah. tell you what brought me in the business, why I am in this business, what is my real why is, like I want quality time with my family. I want to spend yeah. time with my family because I know since from the age of 16, I started working. I'm working, you know, back home, I was a teacher because I was the oldest son. My parents didn't have any source of income. I was working in the school and from morning early four hour, four o'clock in the early morning till mm -hmm. evening 10 p.m. I was teaching day school, uh -huh. coaching, tuitions all the time. Here, when I came here, I was thinking that a oh, big place, big opportunity, this thing will happen. Here also, my life was like busy, 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 all the time busy. You don't have time to for yourself as well. So I was mm. thinking I didn't spare my real time with my family. I mm. wanted, I have a dream. If I have good money, if I have a good time freedom, I want to mm. spare that time with my family. Another uh, reason why I like to involve in this business, I started this business, I want international name and fame. <laughs> I want to be known by people. There was mm -hmm. one guy named Suraj Yadav. They should know me. I wanted people to know me. And there was no any other place. Okay, in a job, certain number of colleagues, they know you. Your manager yeah. knows you. But... Uh, the way I wanted that all over the world, people should remember me. There was one guy from Nepal, from England, from London. He was so and so. I wanted, I want to earn that fame through honestly helping people. That name and fame, I didn't find any platform. I When I saw there, I saw different people from different backgrounds. They are being recognized. They are being uh, evaluated that given the fame that attracted me that's why i'm in this business similarly uh, i wanted to visit see i told you last uh, 20 years i was busy all the time yeah i had yeah. been a couple of times in somewhere to roam around with family but most of the time i didn't have budget i didn't have money for family to go take with a foreign trip I have a desire, I have a dream to take my family every month somewhere to Rome, out wow. of the country. That dream, my salary cannot make it. I can't afford with my current salary. So I wanted some vehicle from where I can earn, I can make that dream come true, that I can uh, meet with different new people, new destinations I can go. That's why I'm here in this business. I have a big desire because I have seen the struggle, the underprivileged people. I want to help them by my uh, presence or by my any other efforts, if I can help them. That's my strong ultimate desire from heart to help underprivileged people. But right now, I myself is not standing on my feet. How can I help others? So I, yeah. I wanted to be financially secure myself then to help those people. So. I was looking, any options are there. If I can make myself a stand, then I can make some contribution in the uh, society with charities and all. And I yeah. saw there's a big possibilities in this business mm -hmm. where from I can make those dreams come true. That's why I'm involved in this business. Another, mm -hmm. I want to fire my boss. <laughs> I want to yeah. be boss of myself. Yeah. What time I want to wake up, that's my time. When I want to sleep, I, that's my time. If I want to listen to music, I want to listen. Miss, I want to be boss of my own life. I don't want anybody to have the remote control of my life and I am just uh, working like a joker in, uh, in their yeah. hands. 
I don't want to be joker of others' hand. I want to be the master of my own hand. That's why I want to do this business. Uh, moreover, I want to fulfill wishes of my wife. <laughs> there are so many. <laughs> I don't know. I'm taking you know, so much time. It's okay. I want it's to okay. fulfill my yeah. wife and my parents' wishes, some of their wishes. You know, last 20, 22 years we have been together. So many times in my life, there were so many places we could have done some better things, but we mm -hmm. didn't do because of compromisation, because of lack of money, lack of uh, finance. Sometimes I share you, Sina, you may feel, I don't know how you feel, but as a, as a man, I'm sharing my emotions. I used to go shopping with my wife. She used to like the dress. The dress was beautiful. I know if she wears that, it will suit best. You understand? Yeah. When she says, darling, you just see how is the dress. I used to check the dress. It was beautiful. Do you know what I used to say? I used to, my eyes always used to go to the tag, price tag. And when yeah. I see the tag, I used to say, darling, it is good, but I don't think it will suit you. <laughs> but I know how bad I used to feel. Because I didn't have capacity yeah. to buy that dress for her. I don't want to go through those situations, those small, small happiness, those small, small wishes, which we have to sacrifice. I don't want my wife to sacrifice again. I want those things which I couldn't do in last 20 years. I want to complete in next 10 years of my life. I want to mm -hmm. make it the brand one, best one, so that everybody can be happy. My family, my parents, everybody. That's why I'm in this business. I have seen that possibilities. People have made a tremendous uh, growth in this business yeah. in two years' time, three years' time, five years' time. There are so many evidence which brought me into the business. When I saw the webinar, I saw so many people, they made their life. In two to three years' time, they made a retirement. Uh, they made an empire of business. When they can do, I can also do. Yes, yes. And last yeah. but not least, I want to leave legacy for my children, for my generation to come. I just say to you, Sita, just simple, uh, just answer my question, yeah? Sita, what's your dad's name? Uh, Jose. My Jose. Dad's name. Okay, okay, Jose is your dad's name. Uh, do you know your granddad's name, your dad's dad? Uh, it's uh, Viven Shaw. <laughs> Viven Shaw, very Viven good. Shaw. <laughs> Viven Shaw, okay. Your granddad name very good. And what about your granddad's dad, great granddad? Do you know his I name? I don't know. I okay. don't know his name. Okay. Uh, do you know Singapore? You live in Singapore. Who was the first prime minister of that uh, Singapore? Uh, Lee Kuan Yew. He's the very, very first. Yeah. How many years back the first prime minister was elected? Nearly 100, 200 years back? Uh, no, it was like 50, 50 plus 50. years. Yeah. 50 because plus years. Colonize, yeah. Okay. So now see what I say. Just imagine. We remember who originated Singapore, how Singapore, who made the first man, the leader who unified Singapore, mm -hmm. how Singapore grew. You know everything, yeah? The person and people. But same great granddad, we don't <laughs> know. The name, even name. The why name. it happened? Don't you feel sometimes you just think why it might have happened? It's a very simple, simple reason, you know. Yeah. Our great granddad, they haven't done anything such special that we great grandchildren can remember them. That's true, yeah. Then what about us? What about us? One day we will be also great granddad, grandmother. Isn't it? Yes. And they will just forget. Our existence will finish. Our yes. existence will remain on the planet as long as our children are there, grandchildren are there. And after that generation, they will not remember that, oh, there was any man named Suraj Yadav or Sina. They were there in the earth. No. So we should do something for the coming generation. I don't want my son or my uh, grandsons to walk like me from the age of 15 till the age of 50. Now I'm going to be 50, working every day, 16 hours, 17 hours. I don't want that their life should go like that. They can't enjoy their life, all their life they're working. I want to change. 
I want to make, I want to earn in a way, I want to develop an empire of business, which is in this business, I see that potential. If mm -hmm. I create that, the business is willable, it will be transferred to my generations. And 100 yes. years back, 100 years later, if they will be talking one day, I, I, I see those days, you know, I feel like, <laughs> there's a, you know, there was a man 100 years back, in 2020 he joined a digital business because of that digital business my life is like this uh, i wow. want to create that kind of things and that legacy is possible to be created through this business there's no any other business i i ask everyone please check in your society wherever you are fine is there anything but we have come true, let's yeah. make that uh, business to develop that's my why, Sina. Uh, well, I mean, I'm so sorry, inspired. I'm getting emotional because uh, it it touched me. Yeah, yeah. I'm so I mean, I'm so inspired, but by all your whys, and, um, because we know that all these things are possible with this business, and all these things is achievable with this business. Because there's a lot of people that has been there already, right? That they have built an empire. They are retired at an early age they are earning they are financially free and you know they yeah. they they own their time so we know that it is possible yeah yeah so i think my next question for you since you have been starting uh, started this business like 6 months ago now right yeah. so how how would you find how did you find the training process and how long did it take for you for your business to to be set up and running the business is beautiful you know uh, the system is laid out so beautifully uh, i think i believe even a 10 year child who can <laughs> read and write yeah who can understand english if they go through it can also establish the business mm. it's so simple so easy and so stepwise explain so nicely laid out that mm -hmm. anybody can do look uh i'm not from technical background but look i'm i'm coming live with you we are talking live <laughs> i yeah. i have that knowledge how to set up the things it has been taught see every every time of your life if if you keep learning you are growing the time you <laughs> stop learning you stop growing isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this business, uh, the system is so beautiful. I tell you, it took me uh, one and a half week to two weeks to set mm -hmm. up my business running because everything is explained over there. If you don't understand, you can go through the Googles and all. Uh, you can go through uh, the video explanations over mm -hmm. there. Every single thing is explained in video, how to click, where to go, how to uh, <laughs> check websites and everything everything is well explained and moreover you are assigned with the mentors you are assigned with a coach if you have yeah. anything you can ask them they are also there to help you and yeah. another beautiful thing is that there is big technical team is behind you if you have any issues you can sit with them you can message them in 24 hours 48 hours they will just sort out your issues so yeah. what else is left see there is no any other place you will learn this kind of thing what I feel is uh, uh, my personal uh, understanding is if you go to outside industry, outside business, not of our digital business, go outside <laughs> business to see, you'll find no businessman, no businessman would like to share their secrets, how they develop their business. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. You, yeah, you go and ask one businessman, sorry, sir, you are in telecom business, telecommunication business. I want to open one telecom uh, telecommunication <laughs> business. Can you share me, sir, how did you open it? How? Did, <laughs> what did you manage? Do you think he will share? If he will share also, he will say wrong, wrong things. So that he will be feeling that if this man will open, my business will go down. There is another competitor. Competitors, yeah. Isn't it? So no businessman in outside world will share their secret. But here, if you come to our business, here, every single person tries to help other. Mm. Because our growth is related to each other. It is interconnected to each other. If we lift other, then you are lifted. 
that's the beauty in this business so if you help if you miss what i want to say is the business secrets not only secret everybody wants to help every another another person that mm -hmm. way everybody can grow if you have willingness if you have uh, the nature that i want to learn and do something from my own for my own if you are ready to learn this uh, everything is here everything easy step you will learn everything and you will make your business boom that's what i believe in the training system it's very beautiful i really salute to mike and dragon who de designed the system correct yeah yeah i mean it is really um really really efficient our training is like easily laid out very very uh easy to follow because you know you just have to open your computer or open your mobile phone and watch from there and do all the stuff i mean on uh on a uh, step by step uh, yeah i think only required skills will be i think 18 years old <laughs> to be 18 years old isn't it? to do the business yeah. right yeah otherwise yeah. everything no skills required in this business everything. yeah this is true. Everything, be... I mean, you don't have to be tech savvy to run this business, really. No, no, no. And everything you can, I mean, and also if if you if you have the like technical skills, you still have you will still watch the video. I mean, because it is already provided for you. So all you have to do is watch and do the training on um, in a step by step um, true. format. Yeah, that is very good. I mean, I'm learning so many things from you. <laughs> We are so, learning. We are learning from each other. Yeah. Yes, yes. And my my next uh, question is, um, uh, I know you have mentioned few of the your favorite things, but what else are, what what are your favorite things about this business? And you know how how did your life change since you became um, digital entrepreneur? Uh, you know, the, my perspectives of uh, uh, things changed. Before I used to think positive, negative. Sometimes negative was more positive, less <laughs> in life. Different things, yeah. Perspectives. After coming into this business, everything whatever is happening around me, I always find positiveness in them. If something is happening, there must be some reason. Mm -hmm. So it has created in me that positiveness. Another thing is I became more time management skills i got see mm -hmm. i feel that my night shift i'm sitting with you to talk <laughs> see otherwise look we all the time we keep running mobile we check facebook you we watch different videos social medias we are always connected with though you are in the business or not you were is it? you were but yes, now yes. you are making it for the advantage of your yourself for your family mm -hmm. you are using it same time you are using it that's that's change it has brought in me and uh, it has made me like uh, financially also well um uh, uh, i established my business in a better way i have planted mm -hmm. my seeds all around yeah, yeah my business is growing i'm confident yeah the confidence in me has developed which if you would have seen me a year before or six months before I was a man who was always uh, hoping for things to happen. You understand? Uh, yeah. Now, if you see in me, you'll feel that he's the man who can do it. <laughs> yeah. wow. I feel like I can do it. Yes. Anything which I can think, I can plan, I can make it. I that 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 feeling has come. That kind you know, of mindset, yes. Has yeah, developed. mindset development. It has come. Uh, personal growth i read and learn so many things and mm -hmm. uh, one more thing i tell because i am from healthcare professional uh, background i tell you like you know uh, most of the people in old age people catch dementia mm -hmm. you know means dementia forgetting uh, forgetfulness yes, yes. Mm -hmm. you know what i feel is even if you see in uh, most of the uh, this uh, western world you will find the people catch dementia in the older days it's because mm -hmm. at certain age we stop learning when you stop mm -hmm. learning brain doesn't grow cells yeah. it doesn't regenerate cells that uh, that can memorize the thing and slowly we forget everything 
and I feel like that, you know, at this age, I'm learning so many things. In the days, I feel like I will be learning more and more, like uh, how to do advertisement in uh, social medias that I learn from here. Every day I'm learning new, 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 new skills. Yeah, that what I'm guaranteed is I will not die with dementia. <laughs> in old age, yeah, that's that's the good thing. It's really, really uh, making me uh, feel good. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, and also like um, what you say about the dementia. I mean, now that we have we are we are learning uh, like lots of things because we also have this um, training every week, which is a good. Which is yeah. a good thing, right? Yes. I mean, so many, you know, the business will give you classes, that. Yeah. yeah, will give you that uh, that kind of um, uh, like learnings in a weekly basis. So I mean, when we come together, this one will be like discussed, or this thing, will, new skills will be discussed. So it's a really good thing for us uh, business owners to learn new skills, you know, for our business. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think we have uh, like a, f a few viewers. I will mm -hmm. just give a shout out to them. Manisha, Suresh from Manisha. Thank you for watching. She's from the UK. Yeah. And uh, Jason and Karen. Hi, guys. Thank you for watching with us. Yeah. Manisha said, true, this business community has people from all over the globe. Yeah. That's really true. I mean, we are so blessed to be to be part of um, you know a big community that helps each other uh, grow their business, help each other to. Uh, I mean, I mean one one if you are if you are in a you will only feel that you are in a co um, uh, correct group or correct people. The, the kind of people is when when you you are celebrating your success and then they are celebrating it with you right so it's very very good to have this kind of people that lift lift you up and encourage you to do better and uh, to do great yeah. in your business Oops. so f moving forward my next question is you know um how do you see yourself maybe two three years or maybe five years with this business Oh, well, uh, I'm excited about it yes. because when I think <laughs> about that, I, I get excited. Uh, I feel I see next five years time, I'm financially free. I'm roaming uh, every month. I'm going different, different destinations with my family. I'm doing seminars. I'm doing uh, many, many big meetings. And there are so many followers behind. We are helping each other. We are growing business. I'm TL training people how i do my business same way i will be sharing my tips and say uh, trainings to people that uh, how it is possible to develop uh, such a financial legacy those mm -hmm. things i'll be sharing those things I'm, i i see and moreover uh, uh with my name suraj and persona charity organization you know like wow. that i have uh, develop i'm just looking i'm helping underprivileged people with uh, their health or their schooling or with their medication or treatment or anything is that i'm helping those things i just look those things which dreams uh really uh, getting completed in next five years time that's what i'm saying and no boss no boss no boss <laughs> I'll be sleeping till 10 a.m. in the morning because these days I don't get to sleep. All my life, morning I couldn't sleep because I'm always working. And sometimes uh, 18 hours at midnight, 2 o'clock, I used to come home and early morning, 6 o'clock, go back to work. Four hours sleep, two hours sleep. I want to sleep nicely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those things I see. The comfort, the real comfort I'm looking from this That's business. It. Yeah. And I have seen, I have seen my colleagues. Uh, I have seen uh, uh, through the webinars and master classes, mastermind classes. People who started this business in two years, three years back from now, they are living that uh, life of rock stars. Yeah, they can live. I can also live. That's that's the confidence in me. That has yeah. built. That's what I see. Correct, correct. I mean, yeah. I mean, it it is really a good. Um... 
think to founder when you are like um, thinking, you know, you, what you can achieve in two to three years time to do, you know, three yeah. to five years time. And um, yeah, it's a good thing to think of time those. Time time because time that, because, no yeah, because are, yeah, because when you are financially free, I mean, you can do all those things, right? I mean, you don't have to worry about uh, not being able to provide for your family and um, you you will be the boss of your own and you can manage your time. Um, you can travel, you know, of course, of, without COVID. <laughs> That's yeah. a really, yeah. really, yeah. a really um, good thing to think as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, just living the life that you have really wanted. Dreamt, yeah. Yeah. Last that's 50 years yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in search in search of lives in last 50 years that yeah. what that what will complete in next five years yes correct i mean you whatever that you were not were not able to do 50 years you will do it now for five years right. and you will be like uh it's spending super, the rest super, of your super important and powerful years of my life they will be yes you will be spending it with your loved ones yeah. Yeah, I think for the last, before we wrap up the interview, my last question, um, Mr. Raj, is this. Why is it important for people, you know, to watch the webinar? Because I know you have watched the webinar three times. I have watched the webinar. All of us that do, do, do did this business all started with the webinar. So what can you, what is it important and what can you advise to those people that, you know, still skeptical or thinking, or maybe they want to check this out, but also they are scared and afraid to try a new venture like this. Yeah, uh, I'll say uh, webinars are important because this is the webinar is a small window mm. in which you can see that uh, your possibilities, I feel like mm. that. Look, my confidence developed from the webinar. If I would not have gone, I would have ignored, I would not have been in this business. Yeah. yeah. It, it really developed the trust in me that I can do it because mm -hmm. I saw people like me, stronger than me, weaker than me, as equal as me, or all kinds of people from all walks of life. They are mm -hmm. capable of doing the business. If they can do, why can't you? Why can't yeah. I? Miss, uh, I, I'll say like, if you, you are doubtful that whether you can do or not, please come before making a decision, do check, come to our webinar, see the real people from real walks of life, how they are managing, how they are doing. If you think that whether you can manage with your schedule or not, you come, just check how we are, Parallelly, we are doing our profession along with that. We are developing our business and slowly our business becomes primary and uh, we can uh, get rid of uh, the business, uh, the job or whatever we are tired of. We can give up. If you want to see how it happens, the secrets are there in the webinar. You can see, mm -hmm. learn from. And uh, I tell you what, all the people, uh, it is an opportunity. I just want to share everyone that this is an opportunity. Come on, opportunity doesn't come with a bang. It is just knocking your door. Just listen to the sound. If you don't listen, this opportunity will go to somebody else. Somebody other, after five years from now, you will find, oh, uh, not you, but somebody A. Mr. A has got that financial freedom, time freedom or whatever. <laughs> not you, because you missed it. It's, uh, I just I feel like oh, uh, do we have time? I uh, I want to share yes. one. I feel like one prospective story. I it came in my mind. Like yes, of course. You know, I feel like uh, somebody has shared. They brought me in the business. Look, if I feel like if mentor my mentor would not have put the ad, thinking that healthcare professional will also see the ad, I would not have seen the ad. Mm. I would not have been in the business, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. How I came in the business, it changed my life. Look, mm -hmm. I, I'll, I'll share you one instance. Once I was in the sea area and I saw one, uh, one 10 years old boy in the sea. It was morning time, yeah? And sea was having a normal tide. 
and it was the sea beach side the boy was what he was doing he was picking something and throwing back into the water picking something and was throwing something back into the water Mm-hmm. I saw from distance, then I went closer, I see what that boy is doing. When I went near, I saw in the sea bear side, when the tide used to come, along with the water of the tide, there's so many small pieces, they were thrown into the sand, you know. Yeah. And when water returns back, some big fishes, they used to be going through the water. But the small fishes, they used to hang this to stuck on the soil in the sand you know mm-hmm. and they were deprived with water and they were dying mm-hmm. they were trying to get water and that boy if he used to see any fish dying with the water uh, scarce of water means uh, because uh, drying yes. and was looking that he used to do just catch that fish and he used to throw into the water and i saw there were plenty of such fishes there on the seaside area. I asked the bear, that boy, oh boy, you are just throwing that one fish into the water. When you throw one, hundreds are thrown back by the tide again. Mm. Does your work make any difference? What you are doing? Mm. Do you know what that boy replied to me? I, I, I will never forget in my life. He said, uncle, you don't know. I don't know it doesn't make differences in anybody's life or not, but mm. he caught one fish from the uh, sand and he threw into the water and said, but it will make difference in its life. Wow. So what I say, brother and sisters, whoever is watching from where, wherever, once you come in the business, when your life changes, then you'll realize that what this webinar did for you. Mm. Like it has transformed. Gina, Sina, your life has been changed. My life changed. There are 70,000 people's life already changed. Every day is transforming the hundreds and hundreds of lives, isn't it? Yes. So if it can change their life, it can change their life. Um, also. Yeah. It can change my life, then it can change their life also. Come, this business is for you. If you have really the hunger if re- truly you need to transform your life truly if you want that uh, you're not happy with what you have right now and you want to mm-hmm. just make a big change financially with the time freedom with uh, so many of your dreams and all if you haven't found any way please this is my personal request come attend our webinar see how people made their life come make your life and then thanks us <laughs> that's what i hope to say <laughs> yeah, yeah that's really 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 encouraging i mean yeah. so so many inspiration like bits of nuggets of inspiration yeah. from that story yeah i mean yeah because um opportunity it comes like a sunrise they say right so once it goes yeah. down sun goes down it, it's it is gone already but yeah i mean that's a uh, very good yeah very good, um, it makes differences see so many people we have gone through the master mind classes we have heard so many uh rocky stars of our business isn't it mm. see, they were two years before two years ago three years five years ago they were just normal ordinary being like <laughs> us like isn't it now yeah. they are celebrity because their life everything changed how the differences is produced by the business isn't it so that difference can be produced if they make plan that's true wow thank you so much suraj for that uh, you know wonderful and inspiration inspirational story as well and um yeah there you have it guys i mean we hope that you have um, learn a thing or two and you got inspired by suraj you know journey uh, of his uh, of how his life has been transformed with his business and we hope that by this you also um you know take action because it it is really by taking action that you can check if this business is a fit for you or not because if like we didn't 
take a leap of faith one year ago and Suraj six six months ago, it will not be us also. I mean, we'll not be here and taking, I mean, talking to you guys, how, how good is this business? Suraj, yeah, anything? I add you one sentence, yeah. I would yeah. add one more <laughs> sentence. I just say, honestly, honestly, whoever is watching, my dear friends, my dear colleagues, my whoever you are from whatever background, whatever places, if you really love your family, if you really do care of yourself, if you really want something to achieve in your life, I welcome you. Come. Mm. We all will work together to make our dreams come true together. Yeah. That's great. That's great. That's great. I mean, yeah, thank you so much, Suraj. And uh, yeah, you can both sign up to our um, website. Uh, you can sign up to Suraj website at uh, www.surajyadavonline.com and you know um, click his uh, website and see if this is a fit for you. I mean you can always catch uh, the live webinar or the, the replay. We hope we always have a replay and um, yeah see this if this is um, a business that really can fit on your lifestyle and schedule but for us we really are very grateful that we took the step you know one year ago and for Suraj just for six months ago and we are really enjoying this business that we can um be proud of you know uh yeah and uh for all of you guys thank you so much that that is watching and will watch the replay uh see you on the next episode thank you so much thank bye -bye. you thank you bye Thank you, Sina.